Good afternoon, everybody, and, and thank you very much for being at this uh, informal br press briefing. Uh, obviously, we're here in advance of the Member States briefing, which will take place uh, at 3 o'clock this afternoon. But we thought it might be useful just to gather here a few people uh, of those concerned, and I'm joined by the Brazilian Ambassador, the Charge de Ferre of the United States, just in case you don't recognize them, the Ambassador of Haiti, of course, the Ambassador of France, the Ambassador of Canada, and the Charge de Ferre of Uruguay. Uh, there could be other countries here too, but this is, a, if you like, a representative sample of the countries which, with which we're working in Haiti. Uh, you're all aware of the, of the scale of the catastrophe in Haiti uh, and the, the scale of the efforts that the international community is mounting to try and provide relief uh, in the immediate first few days and, of course, on a much longer-term basis as well. I think one of the things that's been striking about this is the, the incredible international response to this disaster, the incredible outpouring of generosity uh, and uh, solidarity with the people of Haiti in, in the appalling tragedy that they've suffered. Uh, and this has been on two levels, obviously. One is the level of individuals, and we've seen huge amounts of fundraising from individuals. And the other is on the level of, of uh, member states, uh, countries, uh, many, of, many of whom around the world have uh, expressed their solidarity, contributed funds, uh, sent planes, uh, and are continuing to do so. Uh, I mean, if we have problems at the airport in some respects, it's because so many people, so many planes want to get in there, bringing aid from literally all around the world. And these are some of the countries with which we're working particularly closely, of course. Uh, the U.S. presence is enormous uh, and extremely welcome and really making a difference. But everybody here and many others uh, are really making a difference. Uh, the U.N. is trying to coordinate this. That's our mandate from the General Assembly. Uh, but what I want to say is that we are working extremely well, extremely cooperatively with all the countries here and with everybody else. Of course, it's a frustrating business. It's never as fast as, as we would like. The logistical problems, the problems of, of chaos on the first few days took some overcoming, but I'm confident that we're getting there. Uh, the, the aid that the UN organizations, the NGOs, the Red Cross, Red Crescent movement are providing in a coordinated way, the aid that the Americans are bringing in and many other people and many other countries, including all the ones uh, standing here, is really making a difference. Of course, Brazil makes a huge contribution uh, on the military front through its command of MINUSTA and the, the many Brazilian forces that are part of MINUSTA. So uh, what I wanted to say is that this is a massive international effort. Uh, it will continue to be a mass uh, massive international effort. We are working very closely with all these countries. It's an effort of solidarity uh, and, and we are working extremely cooperatively and positively together. So that's the message I wanted to deliver. Let me pass the, the, the microphone to the Ambassador of Haiti to say a few words and then I think our colleagues will say a few words each as well. So Ambassador, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, in addition to what uh, Mr. Holmes just said, let's say that on the government side, you know, things are slowly getting reorganized and uh, the government is working, is functional, and uh, in coordination with uh, MINUSTA and all the other uh, international partners operating in the country, uh, the flow of uh, distribution of aid, not only to the population of port au but also to those uh, in, in the other cities that have been affected, you know, this is progressing. And as Mr. Holmes indicated, you know, there were some difficulties at the beginning, but gradually, you know, they are being resolved, so that in effect, you know, other towns and, uh, are being served, you know, by uh, in receiving assistance. Other than that, uh, the government uh, 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 would like to express its appreciation and its gratitude you know, to all the countries and the organizations that have come to our assistance so far. And it is obvious that it is an immense uh, task. You know. uh, we're still in the f search and rescue uh, phase of the operation, but uh, you know, some reflections is uh, being given you know, to mid-term and long-term planning for the reconstruction of the country. And here again, you know, uh, on behalf of the government, we would like to express our appreciation for the assistance that we've been receiving so far, and I would like to assure you that the government is extremely grateful and uh, all steps are taken on our side you know, to ensure that the affected population does indeed receive you know, the aid, and uh, we're certainly hopeful that everything will run a little bit more smoothly than before. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, uh, Brazil is very much committed, as you well know, uh, to uh, helping as much as we can. Uh, we have been present uh, in delivering um, assistance. Um, uh, there has been a continued flow of uh, 
uh, aircrafts flying to, to Haiti to deliver uh, food, uh, water, medical supplies, and, and so on. And this is, I think, a, a common effort. We are also very much committed to ensuring that uh, our efforts are um, very well coordinated and can be um, successful in terms of uh, delivering the assistance to, to the people in need in Haiti. We are at the disposal uh, of the, uh, the media for any other clarification of questions that you might ha have. We'll do some questions at the end. So. Thank you. As if you've heard, this is a major international undertaking, and uh, we want to obviously commend uh, John Holmes and OCHA and all the humanitarian agencies on the ground under uh, UN leadership for the fantastic work they've done. I don't think we would be in the situation we are in trying to get relief supplies to the people who have been affected without their superb effort. And uh, as you know, they've suffered a lot and our condolences uh, are, are with them. Uh, the American contribution is uh, increasing uh, every day. As you know, we are a neighbor and friend of Haiti. We are working closely with that government, coordinating with our international partners, with other governments, and of course with, with the UN. Uh, we are there for the long term. This is not something that's going to be resolved quickly and, and easily. There's immediate relief efforts, but there's a reconstruction effort underway as well that will be much longer term. Uh, the outpouring of support and generosity of the American people is, is obvious here. My government has contributed about $165 million so far, $90 million of which under the UN flash appeal, uh, and we will continue to do more. Uh, and again, the priority we need to continue to, to remember is helping the people uh, in distress and the people who need our support and to ensure that the government of Haiti uh, is in a position as rapidly as possible to resume all of its responsibilities. And uh, we'll continue to work coordinating closely with the UN until that point is done. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know, um, because of the proximity of the French, the French West Indies, we were um, among the first ones to be on the ground. Uh, we are uh, around, now we have around 1,000 people, French, uh, in Haiti, and we are organizing every day four, five, six shuttles between La Martinique, La Guadeloupe, and, and Haiti. Uh, we have responded to the flash appeal of the UN uh, by pledging $15 million. Uh, only one comment. I think it's impossible to overestimate the challenges that all uh, the country, all the UN, and all the countries are facing to organize, to coordinate uh, the aid, considering the seriousness, uh, the tragic seriousness of the situation. There were there were bumps on, on the road. They were unavoidable, but I think that we are moving in the right direction. Thank you. Um. Canada and Haiti are friends of long date, and for my government, bringing the very most effective and rapid response to this crisis is an enormous priority, working very closely with the UN family, with the other member states here today, and with the wider international effort. Uh, as you know, Canada has already made a commitment of uh, up to $135 million. We have 1,000 soldiers, sailors, and airmen in Haiti, and another 1,000 foreseen. And uh, in an effort to uh, uh, look a bit ahead, uh, my minister this morning announced uh, a conference in Montreal of those countries, the UN, uh, the IFIs who have the, uh, the heaviest uh, investment in Haiti, to take place in Montreal to take stock of the current situation and look ahead uh, to the move from humanitarian relief to reconstruction and to plan for a bigger conference on reconstruction in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I have only just a few words to add to what was being said. Uh, Uruguay had a, a large contingent in, in the field. Um, we are putting all this infrastructure for the reconstruction uh, work available, and uh, we are also thinking to in the reconstruction for the future and uh, what, the, what activities we can do and what uh, we can provide for that uh, very hard task. Thank you very much.